Hi everyone! In today's video, I want to talk about a really neat event that has been happening to me over the course of about the last week. An article I wrote went viral. This article was a response to Ken Ham, specifically a response to a claim by Ken Ham uh, wherein he was wondering as to what sort of positive messages atheists could have for children. I decided to write out my own personal positive message for children as an atheist in response to this, and I encouraged other people to do the exact same thing. The response I've gotten has been very wonderful, and I've retweeted some of the articles that I've seen. I'll also be including screenshots from those articles and linking them in the description down below so that way other people can go and see them. I'm honestly really happy about the reception and the reactions that my article has gotten from people, including from Ken Ham himself. Mr. Ham went and retweeted the article. He tweeted it multiple times, actually. He shared it on his personal Facebook page for he himself, not for Answers in Genesis. And it also made uh, Answers in Genesis news, which I thought was really interesting. And now I'm going to play you just a little bit of that particular segment. Here, here toward the end, one of the things he says, um, it, it, he actually says, including to God, in the off chance that God is real. Now, as soon as I heard him say yeah. that, I, I realized something. That, that means he's not an atheist. Yeah. Here right. he is claiming to be an atheist, but he left open the possibility of God. That's actually the religion yeah. of agnosticism. Mm -hmm. it's you not know, Richard Dor there will be a link to the full segment in the description down below, as there will be for a lot of the other things that I'm sharing in this particular video. But I wanted to point out this segment because they want to paint atheism and agnosticism like they're mutually exclusive. They're not. And it really frustrates me that I am being intellectually honest and freely admitting that it's entirely possible that God exists. I am not someone who is a Gnostic atheist. I'm not someone who claims that God isn't real. My atheism is exclusively the lack of belief in God. And I don't understand why they felt the need to try and act as if I was in a weaker position because of the fact that I was honest. You'd think that they would respect that level of honesty, but I guess not. And it's really annoying because atheism is not strong agnosticism. I know there are people, including atheists from time to time, who've tried to make this argument, but it's not reflective of reality. It is very frustrating, and I don't like it. But the whole segment's very interesting. You get to hear them talk a lot of things. You get to hear them make a couple of ad hominems. You get to hear them claim that I, as an atheist, don't have a moral basis for saying what's good. It's a really weird experience. I would recommend it if you've never actually seen what it's like when creationists talk about atheists especially because this is a particularly frustrating group. But at the same time, I am going to say this, I said this on Twitter, I extend an open invitation to anyone from Answers in Genesis to send me a message and to allow me to go on to their program and to actually talk myself instead of them talking past me or about me because I am not really going to do the same thing here. I want to talk about more positive things, like what it is that people have written in response to what I wrote. I'm not going to be reading each of the things that I share with you guys in full. I'm going to link them in the description down below so that way people can go and read them themselves. But this first image comes from Couple of Atheists, which is a blog run by Color Me Skeptic and her partner. And I will be linking to their social media as well. But I definitely recommend that you guys go and check this out. This is one of the favorite things of mine that I've read since I published my article, where I initially challenged people to talk about their positive message for children. Andrew Moore wrote a very positive message for children over at Impolite Topics over on WordPress, and I very much enjoyed reading it. It was a genuinely positive and simple message that had very little, if any, religious language at all, which I think would make it a far harder topic and a far harder post for Ken Ham to try and respond to and claim that it's borrowing from his worldview like he tried to do with me. Over on Twitter, RuthOnly123 wrote out a very simple message that celebrated the joys of knowledge. And and living in an era where we're about to discover so much more. I liked it a whole lot, and I think that many people who enjoy my channel will probably like it as well. It's a short and simple message that anyone should be able to get behind. 
When I first made the article, the very first place I shared it to was the Atheism subreddit, and it got a wide range of responses. A lot of these responses were very incredible, well-thought-out responses, including ones that I disagreed with that pointed out that there's no real point in responding to Ken Ham. Now, I had interesting conversations with people who had all sorts of opinions on this topic on the Atheism subreddit, and I highly recommend that people go check it out. Maybe you'll leave a comment too, so I'll get to learn what you think both here and there. The claim that atheists don't have positive messages for children is incorrect, and I'm very happy that it's incorrect. I'm happy that I'm not the only person who has a positive message for children, and I'm going to continue sharing positive messages for children that I've seen other people write on social media and elsewhere. I hope that more and more of these articles can go viral, and I hope that more and more writers who've written them get the recognition that they deserve. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope that you can go and check out the other people who've created content that I've shared in this video. They are all remarkable people and great writers, and I hope that you can go and give them the love that they deserve. Be sure to go and tell them that I said hi and that I'm so happy that they created content that I was able to share for you all.